Subscribe to get carried and click on the bell icon for more updates. Today, let's make a simple and classic recipe called Murg Pasanda. Well, this is one of the favorites of the Mughals and that's actually where the name comes in, Pasanda. Hey guys, it's Varun Namdar and welcome to Get Curried. First things first, let's make a quick paste of ginger, garlic and some more ingredients. To begin with, of course, ginger by cloves of garlic. I'm adding in desiccated coconut, followed up with white poppy seeds and finally gram dal which is kind of roasted and this is going to add in a beautiful layer of flavor. Let's grind this to begin with and then we'll see we'll only add in water when required. Let's scrape the sides and with this I'm going to add in some water. Let's grind this into a smooth and fine paste. Well for the uninitiated well, pasanda could also be made with almonds and that recipe is actually called Badami Pasanda. Our ground paste is done and ready. Let's move on to the next step and that is actually cooking this right. For this, of course, a wok or a kadhai or a patila on high flame and to this I'm adding in refined oil. Of course, by all means you can also use ghee but the recipe becomes too rich. But if you're the ones who likes it that way, by all means, go ahead and use ghee. Swirl it in the pan. The oil is heated up. Let's add in the sliced onions. And along with this, I'm also going to add in cumin seeds and garam masala, which is whole. It's cumin seeds to begin with. To this, I'm adding in a stick of cinnamon, some green cardamom, and finally, some bay leaves. Mix this well and allow this to cook till it's nice and golden brown in color. The onions have started to turn golden brown in color. At this stage, I'm going to add in whipped curds. Just whip it lightly and this goes straight in the fried onions. Well, because this would have the tendency to kind of curdle or split, Immediately, I'm going to also add in the paste that was created. Because of the khaskas and the chana dal, the curds will not split. Let's mix this well. And at this stage, I'm also add in the powdered spices. In this case, very simple, very basic. It's turmeric. Because this is more on the yellower side, I'm going to add in a little more of the turmeric and less of the red chili powder. Well, it's not a spicy dish per se. It's just absolutely flavorful. My mouth is already watering. Let's give this a good mix and allow this to cook till the oil kind of starts releasing the sides of the pan. Once the oil has released the sides of the pan, I'm going to add in slices of boneless chicken breast. Well, technically, these are called escalopes. So let's add in the escalopes of chicken. Let's begin to mix all of this well and to this I'm going to add in water and some more spices along with salt. So let's head there. I'm going to add in water to begin with. Well it's more of a gravy than a curry. It's really thick so the water needs to be added accordingly to this salt and finally a crushed mixture of two very important spices that actually brings out the taste and flavor of Murk Pasanda. To begin with, coriander seeds and along with this, peppercorns. It's coarsely crushed and ready and this goes straight on top. A quick mix and this is now going to be left just like that for 10 to 12 minutes for the escalopes or slices of chicken to get perfectly cooked. With this, off goes the flame and our murk pasanda is done and ready. Let's serve this straight in a kadhai and this, trust me, goes amazingly well with a butter naan or a roti. With this, a generous sprinkling again of black peppercorns and coriander seeds. Remember what I said? That's actually the predominant flavor of murk pasanda. Well, on that note, do not forget to like and share the video and subscribe to get curry.